I'm Mickey Carey from the Brain Health Institute. Are you feeling tired? Are you feeling sluggish? I think that your brain is starving for some oxygen right now. You need to get over here, start working out with us, and feed it the oxygen it needs. I'm Mickey Carey from the Brain Health Institute, and remember, a healthy body is a healthy brain. You are going to put your heart rate monitors on. We are going to make sure we're ready to go. You've got your towel and your water by you. We are going to do all four of our exercises we just learned. We are only doing seven reps of each. So this should motivate you to do all of these exercises. This isn't so bad. Seven of our mountain climbers, seven burpees, seven high pulls, and seven swings. All right? All right, Margaret. First thing, let's come over here to our mat. So if you need to put your hands down on your mat, you can. What I would suggest is hands to the edge of the mat so your feet can move freely when you do your mountain climbers. All right, here we go. Hands on the mat, and every switch counts as one. Ready, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice, stand right back up. Now, big deep breath. We're gonna go into the burpee. Take a step onto your mat. Watch those knees. All right, ready? Don't kick anything in your living room. Don't knock over any coffee tables. And down, seven burpees. Down, and up, one. Good, down, jump and clap. There's two. Working all of these muscles in your upper body. Three, and all of these muscles in your lower legs. Get you up and down off the ground. Four, fantastic, Margaret. Good. Five. Two left, guys. That's it. Just two. And six. One more. Lucky number seven. Good. All right. All right. After those burpees, we're going to come over here to the kettlebell. Remember, line yourself up accordingly. Open those feet shoulder width. The kettlebell is just in front of the body. Arms out in front. And we're going to push our hips back and down. Hands on the bell. Drive our heels in the ground for our high pull. So let's go back down, touch the ground, and up. Good, seven. Six, nice. Five, now this one you don't have to speed through because we want to watch our posture and our form. All right, and down. And up, just below that chin, three. Good, come on, it's only two more. Nice, as you stand, squeeze that butt. Fantastic job. All right, stand, breathe. Big deep breath, and now we've got seven swings. Remember, when you do those swings, try not to lift it with your arms. Try to use all of your hips and your lower body. And we're gonna try to get that kettlebell out about chest height. All right, so we're gonna push our butt back, keep our chest up as we pick up that kettlebell. Stand up nice and tall. And she's gonna push that bell back between her legs and snap her hips. Good, no higher than the chest. Good, very nice. Make sure that you are bending at the waist. Careful not to let those legs bow out. And where are you at, Margaret? What number is that? Good job. Seven. One round done, guys. That's all it takes. Hi, I'm Mickey Carey from the Brain Health Institute. And do you guys know that even though the human brain only weighs 2% of your whole body weight, it still takes in a whole fifth of all of the oxygen that you consume. So working out helps get oxygen into that body and increases blood flow to the brain. I'm Mickey Carey from the Brain Health Institute, and remember a healthy body is a healthy brain. All right, now that we've just finished those seven swings, we're gonna come back over here. Make sure you've got space to do those mountain climbers, all right? I don't want you kicking anything in your living rooms. Hands down onto the ground, and seven, here we go. One. Two, three, good, four, five, six, and seven. And immediately up, you're gonna take one big deep breath and you're gonna go right into those seven burpees, getting all the way up and down. All right, and here we go, all the way down. Chest hits, jump and clap. Good, nice, come on guys, I know you can do this. This is two, you only have to do seven. Awesome, Margaret's doing fantastic. I'm, sh I'm sure you guys are doing fantastic. Nice, come on, Margaret. Fan good, good, there you go. Chest all the way down to the ground. Nice, drive, push right back up. And what number are you on, Margaret? Seven. All big right, point. lucky number seven, and clap. Good, big deep breath, guys, as you walk over here to your kettlebell. All right. 
All right, next movement, high pull. So jump up from your burpee, come over here. Make sure you've got that good shoulder width stance. We're gonna push our hips back behind us, hands on the kettlebell. The moment she grabs, she's gonna take a big deep breath, tighten her belly, and drive her heels into the ground. Good. Seven of these high pulls, working all of these lower muscles and shoulders. That good pull right there, which I know you guys can do. And squeezing the belly. Who doesn't wanna work their stomach, right? Seven high pulls, nice. Notice these are a little bit slower, all right? As soon as you're done with those high pulls, big deep breath. If you're feeling it right now and you need to take a break, it's okay to hit the pause button. You can come right back to us. We'll still be waiting right here for you, all right? Next movement is the swing. So, same shoulder width stance. You're gonna grab that kettlebell, pick it up the same way you would with that high pull. Now, initiate that movement, push your hips back behind you, and come out chest level. Good, nice job. As you stand, I want you to squeeze those glutes together real tight. Seven nice, perfect swings. Good, working all the muscles in the body. Carefully set that kettlebell down, and you're gonna immediately go to that next I'm Mickey Carey from the Brain Health Institute. Do you know that your brain stimulates new connections every time you learn something? So when you're learning that push-up, and you're building those connections. When you're learning that squat, you're building those connections. This is gonna help your brain get stronger and tougher. All right, it's gonna make you sharper. I'm Mickey Carey from the Brain Health Institute, and remember, a healthy body is a healthy brain. All right, round three, last round, guys. Are you ready? Here we go. We've got seven of each. You guys can do this. Seven mountain climbers. Ready, Margaret? And foot by the hand. One, two, three, four. Squeeze that belly tight. Six and seven. Good. Immediately stand right up. I want you to fall right down into that burpee. Here we go. And down. Whole body touches. Feet jump. Hands clap. We can push through this last set. I know you guys can. Jump, clap up overhead. There's seven. Good. And up. Six. Nice job. Good. Jump all the way up. I know you guys can do this too. If Margaret's going through it, I'm sure you guys are fine. There we go. We're getting the heart rate up. I know we're almost done. Good. Jump and clap. Squeeze that belly as you stand. Make sure your back is supported. Good job, and jump and clap, Margaret. Nice, all right. All right, now that we've got those burpees finished, we're gonna head over here for the sumo deadlift high pulls. So let's get our shoulder width stance. Ready, Margaret? I am. I want seven good ones in a row. Everyone at home, I know you guys are ready as well. And drive those heels to the ground, squeeze those glutes as you stand. Good, seven, six, and up. Five, come on guys, I know you can do this. Four. You only have three left. Two. Good, nice pull. And rest it down. Everyone else at home too, I want you guys to take a big deep breath. We've got one more exercise, seven reps, and we're all done. All right, you ready? Are you ready? Here we go, last one. Pick that kettlebell up, stand up nice and tall. Remember, it's all about your back. Squeeze your core, ready? Push that bell between your legs and snap those hips. Remember, we're sticking those hips back and swinging that bell out, only chest level. Nice job, working all those muscles in the glutes as we stand. Carefully set that kettlebell down. Now you're all done, guys, how you feel? Great job. I'm Mickey Carey from the Brain Health Institute. And guys, I just wanna let you know that you can make your workout fun, all right? Take your iPad, take your heart rate monitor, and take your workout outside. Grab your mat, your kettlebell, and make it fun. Turn the music up, make it entertaining. I can still talk over the music, so I know you'll hear me. Grab a friend, make this something that you wanna do and that you enjoy. Get sweaty with it, all right? So grab your iPad, take us outside, and work with us out there, get some sun.